Howdy, Bill. Howdy. Man, look at Kansas. There's a whole lot of space out there. Yeah, it's a ways off. Yeah, so um, you're going to hire me to do some storytelling at KSU, eh? That's what I hear tell. <laughs> You've done this before, right? You've run this route? Yeah, I've been down this route a couple of times. So what do you need to know about Kansas State University? Uh, well, I don't know. Like what, what people might be interested in, what uh, for students, what they're going to maybe why they would want to take, you know, ride with us and take this course. Well, most of our students are young and skinny and wiry. They're just barely 18 and they're willing to risk death daily. Well, that's okay, because that's what we're going to do in DS-106. We might not risk death, but we might risk uh, creative expression, making mistakes, trying new things. Yeah, my students, they're always up for a, a new adventure, so this, this might be just the course for them. I sure hope so. And this, like anybody at K-State from like all over Kansas can do this, right? Yeah, they don't even have to be at K State. If like the people of Kansas just want to get some experience with creating on the web and uh, making videos and audios and learning how to use their computer and and just how to tell stories with media, anybody can do this just on their own, right? They don't even have to be signed up with us. They can just jump right in there and do however much they want. That's pretty darn good. And so, like. Uh, Boy, I've just been through Kansas once, and it was dark, and I didn't really see it. What's, what's like, Kansas have to do with, like, the West? Because I'm always thinking of out here in Arizona, like Monument Valley, where John Ford did his movies. Kansas is the old West. You've seen that show Gunsmoke? Oh, yeah. Miss Kitty? Oh, boy. They were in Kansas. Of course. That was Kansas. That's Dodge City, Kansas. The... We, Kansas State University, it's it's right near the end of the old Chisholm Trail. Man. It's it's where they brought the, the cattle up from Texas. This is where they ran the railroads to. And uh, the, the, the people back east didn't want them Texas cattle coming into their town. So they ran the, the railroads out into the frontiers of Kansas and brought them here. And that's, that's how they got the beef back east. If they don't have the West, like there might be people in Oregon or New York that, you know, the West, you know, we can go really broad as to what it means. It doesn't just have to be like, you know, cactus and sagebrush and cowboys and horses. Like, like there's, I, there's cowboys up in space, man. Well, what do you mean by that? I never heard of no cowboys in space. You ever seen that story Star Wars? Well, now come to think of it, I have seen that show. Well, if you take away all the spaceships and stuff, it's just a bunch of good guys fighting bad guys and dealing with overcoming obstacles and shootouts. That's a Western. Well, I guess I never thought of it like that. Well, that's what we're going to do. We just want people to be, like, wide open because the, the West is just about the idea of, like, this... We're looking at it, Bill, this big open space. It's it's opportunity. It's the frontier. It's the it's the first frontier. It's the final frontier. So maybe even the internet's kind of a, a wild west when you think about it. Absolutely, because like no one can see the edges of it. We sure learn about that in this class. We sure will, and it's gonna be a wild ride. So it's gonna be starting in mid January. But it's time for K State students to register, right? Eh? Yes, that's right. We're we're starting registration right now. And what's and, what's, uh, what's the course? What's the course ID? What's the what's the uh, the brand class. on the course? The, well, the class number is CMST two nine nine. Yeah. So it's, it, it's a topics course in computer technology, but we call it digital storytelling. That's pretty awesome. And and we got some other people riding with us, like. It, it, way out on the East Coast, that Paul Bond guy is going to be bringing some kids in from University of Mary Washington. I, I even got some, some cowboy friends down in Puerto Rico who want to do this. There's cowboys in Puerto Rico? Never heard of that neither. Well, I ain't seen them, but they talked about them. K-State students can sign up. They can get credit. 
people on the open internet, all they need to do is get themselves a blog, and we'll tell you how to get yourselves a blog, and a, and a Twitter, I don't know what Twitter is, but Twitter is useful, and they'll find out about that, and then they're just going to find out stuff as we go along, because we're going to start out talking about what do we mean by story, talk about the shapes and forms of story, we're going to get people like creating, using their cameras to capture pictures, and then editing them on their computers, we're going to do audio and radio show and bumpers. Then we're getting the video, making movies, and then mashing that all up together and all putting out there on the internet where anybody can see it. That sounds kind of risky. That, that sounds like a, a rough trail that you might want to follow. Well, you don't, you don't find no gold, Bill, unless you take a little bit of risk, unless you ride out to the edge and, and deal with maybe some bad guys out there. But, you know, if we do it together... And people kind of, you know, stay in touch and communicate. Maybe they don't feel so isolated. You don't need to be an expert in no Photoshop or, or, or iMovie or anything like that. You can just, we're going to figure out this stuff as we go along. And it's going to be fun. I mean, I, I have a lot of fun riding this trail. You mean we're going to circle them wagons then and keep the bad, go- bad guys out? We certainly will because, you know, we're, we're a team here. We're like team, you know, team Western 106. I like it. It sounds like it's going to be fun. It's definitely going to be fun. And it's going to be hard. You know, I'm not going to fool anybody. If, if like you young Kansans are thinking it's going to be just an easy, like, ride on the back of a horse, no sir, be Bob. You know, you're going to have to be working. You're going to have to be sweating. You're going to be creating. But, man, when you get to the end of this trail, you are going to, like, look back and see how far you come and what you achieved. And you'll be able to do anything you want on the Internet when you get to the end of this. Almost anything. Well, that sounds great. Yeah, so, um, you know, we'll, we'll be cooking up more stuff, and we'll be letting people know on uh, the DS106.us side and over there on my side at 106 Tricks, and we'll be tweeting and yowling and doing all kinds of stuff, and we're already asking people to give us, like, examples of their favorite Western movies and um, help us think about, you know, what do I mean? Is it you know, is books? Is it comics? Is it video games? Is it There's even cowboy poets. Cowboy poets. That's my favorite kind. Man, rhyming cowboys, man, they, they just got, you know, the dust in their teeth and the, the words in their soul. So it sounds like it, it, it's got something for everybody. It sure does. And so, you know, and even if you don't want to do the whole ride as an open participant, you can just hop on and do a couple of anime gifts with us and then go off into the sunset. We don't mind. Or you can come back later and pick up and do an audio show with us. So, you know, people like, heck, even professors at K-State can come in and learn stuff. Now, that would be something. Professors learning. They can do it. Anybody can do it. All you got to do is, is try, you know, get on that horse, fall down, get back on again, and then join us around at the campfire. We'll eat some beans. And, and you know what happens when you eat the beans, but we'll, we'll <laughs> stay away from that. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that scene in Blazing Saddles. Yeah, yeah, of course, you know. The West is funny. Funny things happen out West. So there's no age limit on this. No uh, age limit, yeah. We can take them young and old and everything in between. All they need to be able to do is saddle up on the Internet. So they, they're going to need an Internet connection, and they will need some kind of computer. Um, you can't do all this on your phone. Um, so, you know, you need to have a computer. Um, and we'll, So what about dial-up? Can you make it work with dial-up? Oh, boy. Man, I haven't seen people do dial-up since, like, 1822, but uh, you might be able to. It could be tough when we get into video land. You could be riding really slow on dial-up. Do people do dial-up still? We do in Kansas, I'm afraid. Yeah, well, we'll do what we can to help them people on the (laughs) dial-up. Most of it's gone nowadays, but I think it's still out there. Yeah, we're going to put that bullet train right through Kansas. Yeah, that that dial-up, that's right up there with the Pony Express. It is, man. But you know what? That Pony Express, they delivered the mail. They got it done. They get it done. So, you know, I think time, Bill, it's just for us to jump off this cliff. What do you think? All right. Let's do it. All right, man. See you later. All right. Talk to you later. <laughs>